Schwarz Robotics, innovative handling solutions for the robotics industry, how smart vacuum grippers make cobots even more efficient. This is the title of my speech of today. My name is Markus Schmieder and I'm the industry segment manager and key account manager for the robotics industry here at Schmalz. Let's have a look at today's agenda. The speech has basically three parts. First, I will introduce the company Schmalz to you. Then we talk about trends in automation with cobots. And last but not least, uh, we have a look at products and developments in this field here at Schmalz. Let's start with the company information. Schmalz, that means 1,500 employees uh, around the globe in 20 different locations that guarantee outstanding customer service. The company is 100% family owned, has uh, 580 copyrights and about 9% of the revenue is invested in R&D in new ideas and new products. Also, we have been awarded five times in the competition Germany's best employer. Let's have a look at the global map. Uh, here you can see where the location of the 20 Schmalz subsidiaries are. And as you see, uh, we are everywhere around the globe where our customer need us. And in addition to the 20 Schmalz owned subsidiaries, we also have 60 additional sales partners that sell our products globally and support our customers. The company has three different business units. The first one is vacuum automation. That means vacuum components, gripping systems, and clamping solutions. This is basically the main topic of today. We have then the second unit, which is handling systems, vacuum lifters and crane systems um, for manually operated handling devices. And the third unit is energy storage, redox flow stacks that uh, are uh, developed and produced here at Schmalz. So now let's have a quick look at the trends in automation with cobots. If we look at, at the chart and uh, see here these figures, um, we can get an, an idea of the role of the grippers here in the context of robotics. As you can see in the charts, the potential, the potential turnover of end of arm toolings for robots is increasing significantly over the last years. We expect to have about 1.6 billion euro as the global sales potential for end of arm toolings in the world in the year 2023, according to the International Federation of Robotics. And what you can also see is that the share of the cobot applications keeps constantly increasing. That means there's a big opportunity and this is also why Schmaltz is putting more and more emphasis on this specific field. So what are the trends in automation with cobots? What are the, the, the keywords? What are the questions? Are these systems quicker to program? Cheaper? And what about the real collaboration? These are all important key, keywords but uh, in reality, they are not really 100% the most important things. What we found out is that things like usability, simplicity, high level of integration and smart components and smart systems are even more important and really deliver the benefit. So what are the expectations of the customers? They, are, they keep changing. The customer is looking for smart end-of-arm toolings, smart complete handling systems, and also a smart periphery. 
What does this mean for products and what are the developments here at Schmaltz? If we look at the end of ARM toolings, very important is easy implementation and high usability. This helps to keep the investment costs low, to be highly flexible and to make sure that there is not always an expert needed to install a system. And these all things that I just mentioned, they result in a very good efficiency. So what we can say is that the smart grippers are increasing the efficiency from the planning through operation all the, all the way into the process of maintenance. Why is the gripper so important? The gripper is the interface between workpiece and the device. We can say there is no handling without a hand. And now we can ask ourselves the question, what are the requirements to the gripper? First of all, plug and work. Just connecting it, hooking it up to the, to the robot without any additional effort. Just uh, install it and it's ready to go. Easy configuration is what goes along with it. Fulfilling requirements like in the ISO TS15066. Easy installation, universal use and also integrated intelligence as well as compatibility with various robot types. Another big keyword in this context are digital platforms. The world is getting more digital and also we are focusing more and more on, on these new uh, medias. Uh, here is one example when we look at our new website schmalz.com slash robotics where you can find a lot of tailored content for this industry. On the right side you can see our selection aids. There's one example. Um, it is a little tool that helps you to find the right gripper based on your specific application. There are so many grippers out there that it's really a big benefit if there is some guidance from the workpiece through the pro process all the way to the selection of the gripper that fits best to the specific need of every individual application. Let's look at some products. Vacuum generators are very important uh, to generate the vacuum for the holding and the handling process. And uh, we have two electric vacuum generators in our portfolio, the ECBPI, the electric cobot pump, and uh, the ECBPM, the electric cobot pump mini. Significant for these products are that they are independent from compressed air. So there's no compressed air used, no com compressors, which also means uh, lower noise le level, less operating costs, etc. These products come with integrated interfaces for the control regulation and monitoring of the handling process. They are also plug and work devices. They can be used universally and they have this described very good energy efficiency. Here you can see these, these two generators to the left, the ECBPI, the big one, and to the right, uh, the ECBPM. In the middle, we describe how also the concept of operating these devices is changing. Here in this case you just need to uh, hit the arrow buttons uh, left and right if you want to increase or decrease the switching point. And after this is, uh, is done, just hold your, your finger uh, above these two buttons at the same time and this allows you to save the settings. So there is no programming required, there is uh, not even a requirement to touch the control panel of the robot. And to the right you see um, a Techman robot in this case with the um, ECBPI vacuum generator and a 3D printed gripper SLG that I will uh, present you in a few seconds. So 
Let's have a close look at the very new ECB PM vacuum generator. As I said, it's electric, it's very small, very compact, very lightweight. We are talking about about 250 gram, which is super lightweight. You could see in the video the intuitive use and we have a payload up to three kilogram, which fits perfectly to small and lightweight robots and cobots. Here this picture also shows that for many robots we don't even um, extend over the flange of, of the robot because of the very more small diameter and this is very uh, helpful if we have to dive into a box for example during the handling application. Let's go one level down closer to, to the workpiece looking from, from the robot and look at the end of arm tooling, the gripper itself. We have here, for example, our VEE, our vacuum and effector. This is a modular gripping concept um, that can be configured easily and it's kind of a Lego kit just to have a, a comparison. So how does it look like? We have a configurator online that helps you to define the right gripper and to create your parts list. We have a starter set that contains already everything to build several kinds of grippers. We can also offer pre-configured grippers in different constellations. You can see here one cups, two suction cups or four suction cups um, in different sizes. And we also have these included into our various robot sets that we are offering that are not only offering or containing the gripper itself, but also the vacuum generation, the flange plates, the cables, everything that is needed for this so-called plug and work installation. Let's look at the lightweight gripper SLG. This is something that is very new and very unique and definitely worth that we have a closer look. Here we are talking about an additively manufactured lightweight gripper for individual gripping solutions. It allows fast and intuitive configuration with an online configurator that is running in your web browser. The gripper has also integrated air channels which means there are no vacuum hoses required because all the air channels are inside the gripper. If we have a look at this tool, we can watch this little video about the configurator. How does the whole process work from the start of the design until the delivery of the complete gripper to the customer? Let's have a quick look. SLG lightweight grippers clicked, printed, delivered. That's our slogan here. Here's a gripper in use and it all starts at your desk, opening the web browser, selecting the weight of the workpiece, uh, defining the accelerations, the, the load case, uh, type of, of movement, and then with a few clicks you can generate your gripper, pick even the right robot type to get the right flange plate, place the order, then it's being printed, cleaned, finished, within a few moments and then within about a week you can have the gripper delivered to your doorstep. To the right you see some sample grippers that have been designed with our online configurator tool and have been printed here in-house. You can see that different versions, different geometries, different number of suction cups and also different vacuum sources like uh, the electric cobalt pump that we have talked about earlier or just the typical um, vacuum generators based on the Venturi principle with compressed air as you can see here in the version at the bottom. So now when we talk about plug and work we need to speak quickly about the robot sets. Robot sets have been made for a fast setup and start of operation of, of the grippers. They are pre-configured, they are different sets for various robots that are out there in the market, no matter if it's lightweight robots or cobots. 
They are black and work and all components are included. That means the flange, the vacuum generation and the cable mainly. Plus quick start manual and in some cases even a USB stick with some software. So this is really all you, you need out of one source to have a very quick ins installation without any hassles. Talking about software, the software plugins are becoming more and more important um, because they allow you to, to get the system started quickly without any programming. They contain individual code based on the robot manufacturer and the software behind it. They're intuitive and uh, offer a proper user guidance and that means there's only very little application know-how required for the user. What does robot sets mean in reality? Talking about concrete products, we have a set for example here to the left for the ECBPI, the cobalt pump. You see here to the left the flange blade, you see the cable, you see the USB stick that I just talked about and even it comes with a few starter suction cups. The same for the robot set ECBPM, the mini version two to the right. Here we uh, normally use only one or two suction cups that are also provided here in the scope of delivery. Uh, the cable comes already with the system and also here uh, there is a USB uh, stick included in case we provide the software plugin. There are further robot sets, also one for the FXCB, a gripper that I will introduce you in a, in, in a second and also for the VEE uh, gripping system that is here shown with an uh, pneumatic vacuum generator a Venturi system, a multi-stage ejector. I just showed you the FXCB which is our large area gripper and this gripper is very versatile concerning geometry, size and char characteristics of the workpiece. It also works when it's only partly covered by the workpiece and can compensate leakages. So we have a solution for a huge variety of workpieces, no matter if they are airtight, if they are porous. And uh, this is also completed by the option of having a foam gripper solution or a suction cup. The system is very powerful with the integrated multi-stage ejector and this allows us to handle workpieces up to 35 kilogram. Last but not least I would like to show you some brand new stuff that we are just introducing into the market and this is the vision and handling system 3D R. Here we are talking about the topic of bin picking. It is a complete application kit for customers that contains gripper, camera system as well as the software and the software plays a very important role in this su subject and even if bin picking is a quite complex application with this kit and the software that combines all the different elements it is very easy for the user to implement a bin picking application. Again, the keywords usability can be installed out of the, out of the box without uh, any issues in a very short time. What is the system concept behind this bin picking so solution? We have different elements. One is the vacuum generator, ECBPI again, the cobalt pump a flange extension and a cup and then we have a roboception camera system with a projector and this is all combined in a piece of software that allows us for the easy setup and it all runs in this case on a universal robots uh, robot but there is also KUKA and other manufacturer solutions in the pipeline that will follow shortly. Last slide, we talk about this vision system to, to the left, it includes soft and hardware, camera and is for surface gripping on top of the workpiece. What we, we will be also launching in the next weeks is a bin picker. 
Here we have the, the bin picking, the gripper hardware. We have no camera and this is edge gripping, a totally different gripping concept where we don't grip on the surface of the workpiece but on the edges. And this opens up a lot of new possibilities uh, when picking challenging items out of a box. Here we have different versions with integrated vacuum ge generation or with external vacuum generation and we can also actively move uh, the, the, the gripper and tilt it to, uh, in order to improve the accessibility when items are hidden in a corner of a box, for example. This is basically what I wanted to tell you for, for now. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at Schmalz and we will be more than happy to help you.